Hey everyone, it's Jeremiah back again for another real-time update for Tryon's March. Today is May 12th and 249 years ago today, Governor Tryon's militia was marching through what is now Alamance County towards the Haw River with the main objective of crossing the river before the regulators can get to the other side to try to block their advance. This is something that Governor Tryon is very preoccupied with. It's the main reason why he requests artillery to be brought with his army, not just to use against the regulators in any upcoming battles, but also to fire from the opposite side of a riverbank in case there is a contested crossing. This is another reason also why Governor Tryon is having his army march today, even though 249 years ago, May 12th was a Sunday, he is pushing his army to move as quickly as possible so that as he's moving through the back country with lots of uh, regulator eyes on the militia with uh, the possibility that word could get around and a large group of regulators could come to contest the crossing, Governor Tryon is trying to move his army across the Haw River as quickly as possible. He is able to do that, so I'm joining you from the western bank of Haw River in the modern day town of Haw River, North Carolina at Trollinger's Ford. Uh, this is the ford where the militia would have crossed. They are able to do that on May 12th and set up their camp on the other side. Their Haw River camp is going to be here just for tonight, and then they are going to continue advancing to the west. This is a very big uh, outcome for Governor Tryon, a positive outcome, and uh, it's the first of several pieces of good news that Governor Tryon is going to get today on May 12th. In addition to successfully crossing the river, he also has more volunteers who are arriving from Granville and Butte counties. He has about 20 men who arrived to supplement his army. And those 20 men from Granville and Butte, they're going to be formed into a light horse company. A uh, light horse meaning a, a company of mounted infantry, uh, soldiers who are on horseback, whereas the remainder of the militia are marching on foot. These men are going to be moving a little bit faster, not quite like cavalry, but they will be a mounted infantry of sorts, light horse. Uh, there's also more prisoners that are being taken. The journal for today says that a regulator prisoner is taken by some of the flanking parties. So Governor Tryon has uh, groups of men that are on the flanks or on the sides of the militia as they're marching through the backcountry on the old roads here. They do have groups that are going out sort of screening. Uh, and those advanced guards are going to take at least one prisoner who the journal states was laying in ambush with his gun. So uh, they think that he was actually uh, hoping to attack the militia as they are marching up. They are able to take him prisoner though, and they do go back to his home and they confiscate a hogshead or a large barrel of rum, which they say was being saved for the use of the regulators. And in addition to that rum, they do take a uh, several hogs that they confiscate for the use of the rations of the militia. So they are going to eat some of those hogs as part of their daily rations for Tryon's militia. They do note in the journal that the regulator's family is going to be compensated for those hogs, and that regulator prisoner is going to remain prisoner until the militia is no longer in the field. So he's going to stay with them for a while. Uh, it's not all good news though at the uh, in the evening that Governor Tryon's militia has their encampment here on the western side of Haw River, they get the first verbal reports that Hugh Waddell has been blocked in Salisbury and has been forced to retreat from the other side of the Yadkin River by a large group of regulators. At this point, it's just a verbal report. It's more of a rumor and it's something that needs to be substantiated, but tomorrow Governor Tryon is going to be waiting to see what, uh, what news uh, is going to continue to come in from west of him, from Salisbury, and uh, he's hoping to determine what the uh, status of General Waddell and his militia is uh, on May the 13th. So I'm gonna be back tomorrow from further west of Hall River as the militia continues to march and we continue to wait and see what is going on with General Waddell. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow on May 13th. Uh, have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.